Hey guys, Cinder here. Today I'll bring you a tutorial on how to use life support in your ship. Remember this one, guys? The one we use the gyro with? Introduce you to it? Same one. It's just so you know how it works. Um, first off, I'm going to use four small fusion generators. There we go. I make them frozen, don't weld to world, and not don't weld. Put them to weld, but not to the world. Um, well, make sure they're no collided. All your life support needs to be no-collided. With everything. Everything. Just put it in the corners. Don't want them in the way of everything. For a small ship and lots of life support. Self-sustaining, by the way. It'll last forever. In space, even. No compressors, gas systems. If you don't have gas systems, go get it, guys. You need it. Gas systems 2, life support 3. Um... Awesome. That's all I can say about them. Gas systems are amazing, and you don't end up draining the atmosphere of its vital resources like you can in this one. And I have done that on purpose and by accident. On purpose. Uh, eco terrorism. Don't worry about it. I'll, I'll teach that to you another time. But I think it's very self explanatory. You take all the oxygen and you fly away and dump it in space and, and then people are freaking out because you're just dying when you get to earth alright, your are, are four reactors oh, don't smart weld these things guys that will crash the server I know I've said that before just weld it all in it's already no collided so set the weight to one and you have your four reactors um, next we are going to get not wire, what am I doing? Um, environmental control Climate regulator. Climate regulator. You can use a small bridge one if you want, but for this design, I'm going to use that one because it kind of fits, doesn't it? Um, next, resource nodes. Oh, I keep going after wire. I just love wire. Resource nodes. It's not a huge one, so we're going to go with a medium. And that thing weighs 50,000. Make sure you adjust that. Ooh, frame rate. Frame rate. Sorry guys, I'm back. Uh, disk, disk space there. That's never fun. I think weighs 50,000 naturally, which is the highest weight you can set something normally. We're going to turn that down to 1, because that will just... Space tornado. Uh, no collide that, no collide that. Make sure that weighs nothing. It does. Uh, why do I keep going to wire? Jeez. Smart link tool. Click it all. Right click. And then now, all you need is water and oxygen that's all you need um, and I know the exact amount you need too so let's pull out tritium I'm gonna have two collectors uh, where should we put this I made so much room with this tiny little ship here let's put it right about here alright methane collector And methane rehydrator. But on the other side. The classic. And tritium inverter. Cool. Link all that up too. Make sure that's linked up. Smart link. That's about it for life support. And we need some storage tanks, but that's kind of easy as well. Hold on. Man, I'm getting bad frame right here. So I guess I'm back again. Jeez. The computer must just plain hate me. I am overloading it with several different applications, including recording, and Steam, and Gary's Mod, and Java, and thousands of other things that make it want to kill itself. Let's just hope it doesn't, for my sake. Alright, we have all that done. Now let's plot the wire tool. Uh, we're actually using it this time. Concept value, two values, 750, and 250. Go out of that, put the wire put right here. The wire, no, the value. Okay, multiplier. Let's go to 750 on all four little collectors. And 250 on these things. Cool, huh? Now, let's make some buttons so we can just simplify this just a little bit. Again, with the wire tool. Um. Any button works, you should know that though. Uh, let's put it right around. Oh boy. 
let me, there we go, right here, I love, nope, here, here, and here, and I like the equal sign for the, like, regulator, it makes, makes sense, doesn't it, equalize, okay, wire on, on all four reactors, the first button, that's the only input button. On these things, the collectors, this one. And on these, the third one. And regulator, the last one. That's all you need. Oh, wait, we forgot one thing. I'm sorry, guys. I usually don't forget this kind of thing. Ah, uh, we forgot two things, didn't we? Resource caches. Uh, you can go ahead and put those in front of your note if you want to, you don't need that thing. Uh, make sure they weigh nothing, because you don't want a billion pounds of life to be on top of you. Make sure they're no collided. Oops, can I, did I just hit the ship? I did. There we go. Alright, and... So we got that taken care of. Um, link that up. And then we have two more things to put in. I, I completely forgot. But it's okay. I didn't screw up bad. Um, but we wouldn't be able to do anything without them. So, oh well. Storages. Don't, don't need large, any size, just so it can be used while it's being processed. Let's put two down. Make it symmetrical. No collide. Wait. One or nothing, how I want to say it. Uh, smart link. Oops. Link it up. Cool, cool. Uh, looks like we're done. Mm, I need to help some more people pretty soon. Alright, well, that's about it. Let's show you how it works. Those are on. These are on. Wait just a couple seconds. and it's not loud anymore and that's it that's it that's all you need for a self-sustaining ship and regulation for your ship itself and if you kind of want to be cool go ahead and link your chair up to that, that little node thing if your regulator decides it wants to turn itself off you can still sit in the chair and be alive I also made a couple modifications on the um what do you call it? Oh, that running to my gyro here. I jacked up the gyro, guys. I didn't. I disconnected it for a little bit. It's not mouse controlled. Let's fix that. There we go. I made a few modifications in the multipliers, so it's easier to control. I'll show you how that works in a minute. And that's it. We can fly around all the way up to space. And we'll never die. Unless you get shot at, but that's, that's a whole different story. Alright guys, that's it for this video, hope you liked it, hope it helps you, and I'll see you later.